and I'll just kick it. Boom. <laughs> Come on, come on, ow. Oh. I don't know, after this kill I think it would be a good time to stop the video. If I do kill it. <laughs> oh boy. Come on, just one more hit. Yeah, it's almost dead. Alrighty. And probably off camera, I will kill this one and then uh, head over to the guy and get the powders made. Um, be expected that uh, by the time I come back, we will be leaving the camp. If not, uh, I'll be looking for a quest. I'll be showing you another quest here. But till then, have fun. Greetings, everyone. Okay, you might have noticed we went from over here to over here, so we're not in the same spot. I and my HP is different and of course my skills are the same but there's a reason behind all this um, I had originally been playing with a Fallout 2 restoration project in MIB 88 Mega Mod turns out MIB 88 Mega Mod is uh, still pretty buggy and when we had gotten to this part uh, on the I was trying to record this the door wouldn't blow up and since you only have one C4 it's kind of impossible it's probably kind of critical that that door blows up because that's the only way to get through that door alright see the doors exploded it has a hole in it now and I killed all the ants because it was just some extra fluff you guys didn't really need but um there's the anti-poison uh, it turns out that uh, I'm guessing, uh, what's it called? Uh, the, um, it, uh, what, what am I trying to think of? Uh, the Fallout Restore project might have uh, rebalanced a little bit of things, which is nice. It's very nice. Uh, of course, uh, it helps if I don't click the wall. And I leveled up. Yeah, I did go back and pick all these locks, all these traps, and as you can see, I've been healing myself, so yeah. I'm too tired. And I don't think I can actually... No, I can. That's right. I can level up right here. So, as you can see, we have, uh, our default things. I'm going to actually put some points into speech, because this is something that you can build up slowly over time. But yeah, you might have noticed I went from uh, repair to lockpick, and that is because uh, I originally thought uh, I would need repair it. In the beginning game because of um what was it called there or in the beginning because um what's it called uh, I thought uh, weapons that uh, would decay but I forgot that uh, that's not the case with this oh and I missed the trap good and also because of the um, MIGB uh, well, MIB 8 mod 
Uh, that was also doing the enhanced combat when I was in, in light, I believe. So, I can actually fight these things wherever and still have the normal bonuses that I would have. Which I do like. I do like that because this game is going to be brutal enough. I don't need to get myself. And if I feel that it's too easy, well, I can always turn up the difficulty. But trust me, it probably won't come down to that. Oh, come on. So besides uh, changing my uh, repair to uh, lockpick, that is about all I've uh, changed. Everything else is pretty much the same. Alright, so we got some big scorpions over here. I want to take the risk. Yeah. Oh. Come on, two hits in a row. Oh. Okay, he missed. That's good. Nice, that was good hit. Oh. Please miss. Good. These guys are still dangerous. They're just not as dangerous as they once were. Oh yeah. There's like another scorpion in here. And in here we'll find some anti-venom and another scorpion or another healing powder. Oh, that's not going to work. Alright. And my high agility and high luck, definitely on my side. Ouch. But I haven't been poisoned. Okay. Now I've been poisoned. And poison will stack, so uh, the more times you get poisoned, uh, the higher uh, damage it will do when you uh, rest and recover. Ugh. Good lord. That guy was a champ. Didn't want to die. <laughs> so we'll take all this. I'm not going to use the anti-poison uh, or the heal because it's just not worth it. So we'll come over here. I'll unlock this. I'm going to save. So come up here and uh, this is going to be our final challenge. Greetings, Devana. I have the honor of being your final challenge. To continue in your quest, you must defeat me in unarmed combat. Shall we begin? Uh, I'm going to ask for questions. What would you like to know? Why would we have to fight? Ah. Uh... Crap. Alright, if I had two more points in speech, I would have been able to actually uh, negate that. But I guess I don't. Alright, so I hit him for six. Oof. Oof. Yep. And there's the death. 
I can't... I guess I could use the healing powder. I don't really want to because it's not that effective. But... I might as well. Yeah, if you had 20 in speech, you could actually... Uh, what's it called? Ignore this fight, but I don't have that, so we're just gonna have to fight. Oof. You've taken my soul. I'm gonna actually scan him and... Come on. Severely wounded. Okay, so one more hit should do it. Oh, crap. No, 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 no. I have to defeat him right here, right now. Oh. <laughs> oh, that was it. I really want to try to get that, uh, because it's 600 XP for talking them out of it. This will be the only time I do it. Okay. So, yeah. It was nothing. Nice. Oh. Oh. <laughs> All right. Okay, yeah. Uh, wait, did it even uh, bother going to that one? Okay. Yep. Come on. Alright, good. If I can get two more hits off, then I'll be golden. Ah, uh, no. Okay. Yeah, punch and kick is pretty much the same thing, but uh, you have a uh, more damage for kick. Miss, miss. Ah. Oh. Alright, so this is getting frustrating. Ah, uh, let's see. Alright. For some reason the controls don't quite work in.
Oh, yes. Perfect. Come on, one more hit. Oh. Shit. Now well, that was only two. That's just good. Oh. Alrighty, good. And of course I need to head over here and grab the, my loot. Because since we were doing unarmed combat, he didn't want uh, me to like use any heals or anything like that. And we'll come in here and... Dun -dun -dun. The Vault Suit from Vault 13, our ancestor. You see the 13 right there at the bottom of it. And we are now in the village. This is where uh, the game starts. Wait. Oh! Yeah, we're gonna have to just run away from that. <sighs> Alright, so here is the Elder, I believe. Congratulations, Chosen One. You have survived the Temple of Trials. Are you ready for your quest? Then of course. This flask. It is from the Holy Vault 13. Vic, a trader in Klamath, brought it to us. He may know where the vault is. You may also need some of what they call money. Here. So if you can't tell, that we have gone very barbaric. We don't even have money <laughs> in all society. I cannot help much. So much has been lost from the long ago. It is a holy artifact. The Garden of Eden creation kit. The discs promise it will make our lands green and our village prosperous. It will save us. More? I do not know. Find Vic in Klamath. We are counting on you. So most of the people will not have a uh, dialogue like that, uh, as uh, you'll see when I come up here. Whoa, please fix the well. Wow. Alright. So we will fix the well. We only have a 17% chance, but it's pretty much a guaranteed fix. Yeah, thanks for fixing the well. And actually, we now have the Pit Boy. Woohoo! The Pit Boy 2000. I love how there's a button broken off it. And we can also hear it sleep. And we can sleep till morning. Alright, so we did gain some HP from sleeping, and we lost some from the poison, but all in all, we're in a good shape. So, chosen. Why does the earth before me warm to the touch of your passing? <laughs> You're doing just too many drugs, I'm out of here. Nah, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be nice. I'm heading out, I was hoping... Uh, just to just this once you talk like a real person please reveal to clouded eyes the purpose of your passage the earth sings with the news of a champion upon the land perhaps before you go you would bestow a kindness the plants sure. of dark soul have infested my garden again 
Many seasons have touched my bones, and I am too frail for the fight which is eternal in nature. I ask that you be my champion. Did you just ask me the Ouija May Garden? The bless your efforts, Chosen. May your aura grace my presence when the earth breathes clean again. <laughs> so yeah, I am a little bit of a jerk, but that guy is totally insane. And I don't know how well we're gonna deal, or how well we're gonna handle against these things, so I'm gonna sneak. I'm gonna slowly walk up. These things have range attacks, so I can accidentally get aggroed by both of them. Alright. Boom! Seven hits. Come on, come on, good. Yeah, I went with two supported skills and uh, one combat skill for my uh, uh, talents. And some people actually go with uh, the type of build I've done. Others go with uh, um, uh, melee guns and lock picking. Come on, kill it! Oh, how how badly damaged is it? it? Almost dead. So one more attack should kill it. If it doesn't kill me. All right, good. See. Smog ran off into the hunting ground and hasn't uh, came back, and now Mara won't let me go find him. She says it's uh, too dangerous, and he'll just... Okay. She says it was too dangerous, and he'll just... And he's just a dog, but I was going to go anyway. But now that you're here, you can do it, and I can't, won't get in trouble. Sure, I'll find him. Oh, well, there's supposed to be someone around here that I'm uh, supposed to talk to. That will give me a slight buff to fighting. Is it you? Hello, Chosen One. How can I help you on your quest? Uh, I'm just looking around one last time before I leave. Gods give you speed and bring back Eden before it is too late. Goodbye, my friend. Okay, that wasn't him. Oh, oh. So there you are, chosen one. Hmm, how goes your quest? Pretty well. Maybe you need a warrior's help. Sure, how, what can you help me with? Eh? I know how to fight with my fist and my feet. Eh? Think you can learn that? What can you teach me? I can teach you en enough to fight better. It will take us all the way one day. You learned it well, Chosen One. May the wind at be at your back. Thanks for your help. So that's what I was looking for. Now if we go over here, my um, unarm has reached 55. You remember it was like 40? So it's a pretty big boost. Uh, So yeah, you also probably remembered I had only a punch. Now I have a strong punch and a strong kick. Which, uh, the strong punch is probably now better because it does uh, about 6 damage. And only costs 3 and I can do 3 punches in a row. Versus the strong kick, which, let me see. Does it say what my strong kick is? Okay, no. I guess I'll have to just go into combat and uh, test it out. Uh, so it hit me for one. Right. Get up here and then uh, kick it. 
Eight points. Oh. Six points. Okay, so yeah, the strong punch is probably better. Maybe not. <laughs> Alright. Maybe not. Uh, I seem to be doing worse with the strong punch. Yeah. Ooh, Spore Plant was quickly hit for uh, 10 points, uh, breaking past the plant's defenses. Spore Plant was hit for 8 points. Yep. Alrighty. So I can actually go over here and pick up all these things. And we, you saw we got 100 XP for, um, uh, what's it called? Uh, completing the quest. Oh. Also, it helps if I'm not in combat. Don't just see the spike plant. Pick it up, damn it. <laughs> Alright. And I'm actually going to try to heal myself. Uh, four points, good. I think first aid is F05. Yes, it is. Failed to do any healing. I healed myself for four. Good. Healed for five. Nice. The strain might kill you. Okay. Well, let's go back to our medical person. Ah, you return the spirit of the dweller to the world and bring a smile to the soul of an old man in passing. For this, I give you powders of healing. Remember, they fog the mind as they cleanse the body. So basically what he's saying is the the reason why the powder healing gives you a negative one perception is it brings you high as a kite. And also, will I mix the brock flower with the zander root together whenever you bring both to me? May your pathways be true and your heart follow suit. <laughs> I'm sorry, but that guy's just asking for it. Oh, hello. What we got here? A shovel. Anything in here? Nope. Now remember, my barter skills is absolutely garbage, so I'm gonna need everything I can get my hands on. And right now, I don't think the villagers will mind. What is this? Oh, I think that's the Xander root. And there's a chest over here, but I'm pretty sure that's locked. Oh, nice. And just for save and keep saves. Failed to pick the lock, failed to pick the lock. <laughs> Alright. So, uh, yeah, my lock picking is too weak. And we can't come back here once we leave, so, you know, there's kind of no point in bothering anymore. 
So sweet. I think that was some Brock flower I got and the other thing. So I'll come to the, the doctor. He's got nothing. Ah, chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? I need healing. You are well. Ah, Thank you. Chosen. My garden is well. How is yours? <laughs> no, I'm not going to say. Uh, never mind about the garden stuff. <laughs> Alright, so here is going to be the first real challenge we have. So, what do we got there? Because this is where we'll start fighting geckos. Geckos are a bit stronger than uh, the uh, uh, bulk scorpion or lesser scorpion that we were fighting earlier. And I have to be careful to only pull one. Or... What? I have to kill one of these things fast. Oh, oh. Oh man, I've been knocked down. That's game. So, like I said, <laughs> this game is pretty brutal. It does not have a problem with it just wrecking you. Oh. Even with the 55 uh, unarmed, I'm doing terrible. Oh boy. Oh boy. There we go. What do you guys think? Is the music too loud? I think it is slightly too loud. I mean, I wish there was a nice in between the two settings. Alrighty, good. Grab this. And I do not know if these uh, geckos will aggro me if I go over here and get the dog. Yeah. So far, they haven't been aggroing at all. Oh! And I stepped in some toxic waste or radiation. I have to be careful. <laughs> I don't know if 
of here, boy. Come on. Thank you, Gecko. So these geckos don't seem to be hostile like I originally thought they were. But what was the damn oh the XP we got for killing them? I can't remember. But we need to get healed before we try that again. You found smoke, thanks, smoke. You're a bad boy. You're welcome. Goodbye. Ah, chosen. My garden. I need healing. You are well. Ah. We've already heard that line, and he's pretty much just going to keep saying that. My garden's well. How's yours? Oh, okay, I guess. <laughs> I could actually have talked to the gecko. Oh, oh. Alrighty. Nice. Oh. Ooh, that hurts. I wish these geckos were a little easier. Yeah, for those that think you can't, you shouldn't die to geckos in Las in New Vegas. Well, <laughs> welcome to Fallout 2. Geckos are actually very dangerous. Oh, I wasn't expecting that one to aggro. I'm not in the shape to fight. Damn it, let me alone, you bastard. I know, it's a little cheaty uh, ah, just to have this guy keep healing me. You are with ah, the pleasure of these words, Phil. Especially since the enemies I'm attacking are only 55 XP, which kind of sucks when you think about it because uh, they are so difficult to fight. Oh, come on. Alrighty, there we go. Well, it's a good hit. I mean, you saw I could heal myself for uh, the same equal XP uh, as I'm getting for killing one of these things. Well, not quite. It would take like two uh, heals and I'd be five short. Well, I definitely wouldn't be tearing up. Uh, Whew. Oh yeah, and geckos have something? No, okay, I guess not. Yeah. Maybe it's just a random chance they'll have something. But yeah, you want to do as many quests as you can do and uh, get as much XP. Because once you leave this place, the game is just going to ramp up worse. I mean, you're thinking like, hey, how worse can it get? Um, I've actually had the game, um, what's it called? Once I left uh, the city, I ended up getting attacked uh, by a super robot. And I'm talking about this city right here. For some reason, the game decided that, hey, we're just going to throw this massive robot at you. And it's like, um... Uh, 
Does anything hurt it? Nope. Are you sure? Okay, five stave is five. Ah, chosen. You are with Ah, chosen. The pleasure. I'm all right. Bye. <laughs> I also need to grab these flowers down there so I can have him make some um, medical dust. That way I can actually uh, have a little more bartering in material. Oh. Come on. There we go. I don't know if I want to keep fighting these things. There we go. And I guess I could... I'll see a gecko. I'll talk to it. Nope. Doesn't want to talk? Okay. <laughs> 